Hi, my name is Jude and I'm in Year 5. Last week I had to go to the hospital for surgery and I had lots of questions. Are you having an operation too? Let me share with you my story. The morning of my surgery, I woke up and I wasn't allowed to have breakfast or drink anything. It was really hard because I was hungry. When we got to the hospital, Mum and I went to the waiting area until it was my turn to get ready. A really nice nurse came and showed me to a bed. We had to get dressed in a special gown and hat and had to answer lots of questions. The nurse checked my temperature and put a special clamp on my finger that they said measured how much oxygen I had in my body and how fast my heart was beating. Amazing! The nurse then wrapped a band around my arm which blew up with the air and gave my arm a tight squeeze. But it didn't last long. They said that it measured my blood pressure and told me to just relax and keep my arm very still. After this, Mum and I sat and talked for a while. I read my book and played games on my iPad. The nurse explained that sometimes you have to wait a while because it's a hospital. There can be lots of people who need the operation before you. When they were ready for my operation, they wheeled me around in my bed. Sometimes kids get to drive a car to the operating room. I didn't get to. Maybe next time. Mum and I then met the doctors and nurses who put me to sleep for the operation. They checked my special armband and talked to me about how I would get my medicine. I learned how the medicine would keep me asleep so that I wouldn't feel anything. The nurses and doctors had their uniforms on. They showed me all the special equipment and there were big lights being turned on. The nurses and doctors helped me move over to the operating bed. I got a bit nervous, but the nurse told me this was all because I was now the star of the show. And before I knew it, I was drifting off to sleep. After my surgery, I woke up in the recovery room. I was happy when mum came in. She was waiting for me just around the corner in the waiting area. Once I told the nurses I was okay, they took mum and I back to the children's ward to get a nice cold drink and something to eat. Some kids get to go home the same day as their operation, but I got to have a sleepover at the hospital with other kids. Mum stayed with me the whole time. The nurses came and checked on me lots of times. They checked my temperature and heartbeat just like they did before my operation. The morning after my operation, I saw the doctors and they said I was okay to go home and I would see them again in a few weeks' time for a checkup. Thank you for listening to my surgery story and I hope this helps you when you are having your operation.